Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at the account creator in FCS Networker. Uh, when you load it up, you'll notice that it's got a few different tabs. Um, you got your account creator options, Hotmail creator, email verifier, and account monitor. Um, these three we'll do a, a quick video and go into. They're very simple, but for right now, let's just concentrate on the main account creator options tab. Um, at first, this uh, interface may look a little daunting, but it's really very simple. I tried to make the account creation process very simple for people who just want to do it quick and easily, but also if you wanted a bit more control, allow you to have that control if you want it. Um, for those who just want to get going and get started, I would recommend just clicking the quick creation settings button. And once you do that, you'll see uh, a bunch of things just loaded up here. Basically what it does is it selects all the accounts to create. You can um, uncheck what you don't want to create. You can leave it as is. You can deselect them and then just go in and check yourself. But when you click the quick creation settings, it's going to select all the accounts to create. Then it's also going to check the auto create hotmail checkbox and auto verify emails. What this means is before it starts creating this these accounts, it's going to auto create a Hotmail account for you. Um, then once that account's created, it'll this email text box will load with that account, that Hotmail account it's created, and it'll also automatically put the settings into the email verifier, so you don't have to do anything. Totally hands off. Then it will create all these accounts. And if you have the auto verify emails checkbox, it'll wait two minutes for all these emails to get into that Hotmail inbox, and then it'll automatically verify those emails for you. So it's very easy, totally hands off. Um, you can also decide whether you'd like to use proxies. Um, if you are going to use proxies, definitely make sure they're good proxies. A lot of these websites uh, have pretty good filters for blocking proxies, so you most likely will see lower success rates. But when using proxies, you'll also be able to create more accounts in, in a day. So expect slightly lower success rates with proxies, depending on how good they are. Um, but for some of you who are looking to create a lot of accounts in a day, it might be necessary. And then you could uh, uh, check threaded. What threaded means is multi-threaded. Um, if you check this box, it'll create the Web 2.0 accounts on four different threads. So instead of, uh, if you leave it unchecked, it'll you know create Tumblr, then Multiply, then Postures, then WordPress. If you click threaded, it'll create Tumblr, Multiply, Postures, WordPress at the same time, and it'll do four Basically, four different browsers in the background will be running to create accounts, even though you won't see the browsers because it's uh, socket emulated, but it will be multi-threaded. Then uh, you'll also notice that the auto update profiles checkbox is now checked. And then you'll see that this is auto-generated, auto-generated right there. Basically, what this means is now, so you're going to have... Hotmail account created automatically for you. Then the bot's going to create all these Web 2.0 accounts. Then it's going to wait two minutes to verify the emails. Then if you have this auto update profiles checked, then the bot will automatically update the profiles, the blog title, blog description, and uh, picture icons, avatars, whatever you want to call them for the sites automatically after the email verification process. Um, the pictures, you just put in this pictures folder. You can just throw whatever pictures you want in here. It's just going to randomly grab some pictures from this folder to use during this auto-update profiles process. You don't have to have this checked. If you don't, um, it just won't automatically update the profiles after account creation. And if you notice, this says auto-gen and auto-gen here. You can click this to turn the auto-generation profile data off and then use your own spun um, blog title or blog description if you want a little more control. But for those of us who just want to get this done quickly and easy, the bot can auto-generate all that information. Now, here you'll also see that we've auto-generated 
auto-generated password, username, tagline, bio, all of this you can go in and manipulate if you wanted, uh, you know, the username to be, you know, Jack Smith, and then, uh, you know, you wanted just to, for it to spin a couple of numbers, you could do something like that, but, uh, what I usually do is just let the bot auto-generate it for you. It's totally hands-off and really easy to do. So that's uh, that's basically, you could manipulate all of this stuff. So basically, if you are just looking to create a set of accounts, then you only really need to add in um, a project name. So this project name will be test for today. So... If you do this quick creation settings, you can leave everything as is, just add a project name, and then just click create accounts. It's it's that simple. One, two, three. Like I said, though, we've added in all this other stuff so that you can have a little more control if you want it. Like, for example, um, let's say you already had Hotmail accounts created. You can uncheck that because you're not going to need to auto-create a Hotmail. And then you could just load the next available and see it loads it right in there. And then when you load a Hotmail account, you'll see the email verifier settings are all set for you for that account as well. Now basically how this load Hotmail account feature works is we have this Hotmail accounts text file that's in your main FCS Networker folder. Now basically this has the account uh, email address the password and then the word will either say available or used. All of these have been used. So if you create, let's say you created, uh, you went into the Hotmail account creator, created three accounts. Um, let's say these were those three accounts. You'll see that when they are created, you're going to see the words available rather than used. So basically what this bot does is when you load a Hotmail account, it just grabs the next account with the word available and then changes it to used and loads all the information. So if let's say you ordered uh, you know 500 Hotmail accounts from somebody on Fiverr, um, you could just put all those accounts in, just add a comma between the email name, the username, and then add another comma and just put available. That way the bot knows it's available. But, you know, all this you don't even need to do. You could just, you know, leave that blank and then just auto-create Hotmail. So once again, just to recap, if you want quick and easy account creation, just quick click the Quick Creation Settings button. Um, name the project and then click Create Accounts. And you're, you'll get an automatically created Hotmail account you'll get all your web 2.0 and social accounts created. The bot will wait two minutes, verify the emails, then it'll go in and update the, the profiles, which means the themes, the blog title, the description, and the picture icon of all the web 2.0 and social accounts that um, allow those things um, to happen. Um, oh, one last thing. You also have separate control over whether you want to use proxies or threads during the auto update profiles process. So even if you, let's say, used proxies and threads for the account creation pro process, you can just, uh, you can decide to not use proxies or only use one thread for the auto update profiles, or you can use multiple threads. Um, the reason why we have these separate options is because many times people are creating a lot of accounts will uh might want to use proxies and multi-threading during the account creation process but after you've created accounts these sites don't really track your ip very much so you you, you might not want to use proxies because it'll be just quicker um and then you could have you know thread control over if your computer is pretty powerful knock it up to five threads it's if it's an older machine leave it at uh one or two so we just wanted to add that feature in there but yeah, that's basically a quick overview of uh, how the account creator works. In the next video, we'll go over to how to create multiple sets of accounts quickly and easily.